Hello, my stitching friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May, and I am the designer behind the brand Ardith Design. This here is Luna Moon. It's a cold, chilly, icy day here in Maryland, and I just wanted to come on and talk all about counted cross stitch. So I would love it if you would join me this week. I'm gonna show you some of my works in progress. I'm gonna show you some stash acquisitions or uh, projects that I purchased that I've decided to, you know, bring into my home, more cross stitch. Uh, I wanna talk about a couple things. I had some questions and I would love to answer them. And yeah, and then talk about upcoming plans for the stitching week and into March, 2021. It is February 21st today. I'm filming a bit early than I normally do, and that's okay. <laughs> I, I'm filming early because um, my husband has to work a bunch this week, and I would rather have a video made than not made. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be, I don't know, it's going to be a good little episode. I'm wearing my cow earrings and I made these they're punch needle I have a tutorial uh, and I made them in honor of the upcoming stitching collaborative event it's between sulky of America and the cross stitch designers collective and it's going to be kicking off in conjunction with the online needlework expo which is replacing or is replacing the um, nashville needlework market this year um, it has been postponed so this the needlework expo is going to be a virtual only event but cross stitch designers could participate in the move the merrier event without participating in the Needlework Expo. So I am not participating in the Needlework Expo this year. I will have some new releases coming out, but I hope that you will support and uh, show some love to not only the designers and the makers, but also the your local needlework shops, as well as your online needlework shops. And with that, I would love to show you, um, so, I made these earrings for the event and I also made, I got my tote here. It's got the official logo of the event, the Moo the Merrier, and it's a two-sided tote bag. And the logo was created by Aaron Houston of Autumn Lane Stitchery. He is the designer behind the brand. Um, I know they're doing that beautiful it's not a mermaid stitch along <laughs> and boy does he chart beautiful faces so if you like to stitch uh, ladies like a mirabilia's or joan elliott's with those beautiful faces you should check out aaron's work he is really uh, a lovely designer and um, so yes <laughs> okay so for the move the merrier i i'm gonna have um a cross stitch release and I'm also gonna have a punch needle release and I will show you those next video I'm not gonna do them this video but in gearing up for the event I wanted to show you some of my stash or my purchases I not necessarily stash they are for in commemorative in commemoration of the moo the merrier in it and the hashtags are Hashtag stitching all the cows, hashtag stitch all the cows, and hashtag the moo the merrier. So I purchased off of eBay some cross stitch designs and I thought it would be so much fun to turn these into either framed wall art stuff or make them, uh, include them in like a wonky patchwork project bag. So I'll show you the collection that I got. So the first one is this little Moo. It's so cute. And this is on a, it looks like an 18 count Ada. It might be a 16 count Ada. And then there's the little companion. 
I ironed these before showing you them on the video and they came all came unframed. It looks like the previous owner removed them from their hoops and frames before selling them on eBay. So this one is also, it looks like a 16 count Ada, like a teal green color. So these, my original thoughts were to make them, um, put them together and make a like project bags with those. They're small and adorable. Can you just sit down? Can you just sit down? The next one is this really cute cow. Look at her. She's got sunflowers around her and a blue bow. This is stitched on a 14 count white Ada cloth. This is how it came. And the person kind of did a zigzag stitch similar to what I do to keep my edges from fraying. This, I'm not sure the designer or the maker of this and it's not dated. This I can fit in a five by seven frame. So I was gonna try to frame this one. The next one is so cute. It's, it looks like it had been uh, kept in a hoop, but it was taken out. And this looks like an 18 count white Ada fabric. And it says how to spot a friend, how to spot a friend. And here's the little cow. And it's a little doll cow with um, the accents here. There's some French knots and backstitching for the little buttons of the appendages. And the cow is using her long tail to put spots on her little bunny friend. How cute is that? So I thought that would make a really cute little project bag, how to spot a friend. And yeah, it says black paint. The next one I got, oh, these came in a, I, I bought um, two lots, L-O-T, like two sets of cow, cow designs. And so these came in two separate sets plus a project that had not been completed and I started working on it and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, <laughs> this one, look at her. She is really pretty, she's wearing a wreath. Now this is on a 14 count Ada and I see some yellow splotching. I don't know if the mat, if it yellowed it or what, but it's okay. I was thinking it'd be fun to, again, frame this or put it on a project bag. And then the last one came as it is, and it is an older piece, and she's really precious, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so here is Miss Moo Moo. She is also stitched on a 14 count white Ada, but it's almost, uh, it's a, at this point, it's a little bit of an off-white, and I'm not sure if that's due to aging or not. So she came with this mat, the mat, as you can see, this had been taken out of the frame. So you can see the sun damage on here as a result over time. And then this is, this got, this was attached directly onto this board. And the board is a sticky board. And she's a little wonky woo. I don't know if I will pull her off the board. So if I take her off the sticky board, I will have to absolutely give her a bath and then iron and press her out. I, if you can see, you can see that she was put on wrinkled and that's okay. I might just for this year, leave her as she is, either replace the mat or just display her like this or put her in a frame without a mat. She has... For her crown, she's the little Miss Moo Moo pageant winner. She has, it looks like, Krynik, metallic, the silver, done. And this is not white, oh, this is not open space. These are all perfectly white stitches. They're beautiful stitches. So you can, I don't know if you can even see the difference here. Stitching Ada, stitching Ada. <laughs> and again, she's holding sunflowers. So that was the set that I got in celebration, commemoration, all of the things for the Moo the Merrier. I want to say too that as of January, as of February 5th of this year, there were 21 designers, design companies signed up and 
per officially participating in this event, the Move the Merrier. So I would love for you to check out all the other designers and what they are doing. It's so exciting. Literally designers around the world, Australia, Italy, United States, Canada, all the things. Should I show you the project I've been working on? Yes. Okay. So I started putting some of my, back, my whips in my, my new tote bag. If you were interested in this tote bag or uh, the sh I, shirts, I I collab I coordinated with Aaron who designed the logo, and I was given permission to put it on some merch. And the links below uh, to the Amazon shop, and it has the tote bags, the official T-shirts, all the stuff in there. If you're interested, okay. Uh, so I started working on this project. I bought it, and I knew I had the issue. So it's this cow sampler. And I, when I saw the set on eBay, I saw, I looked at the, I was like, I have that pattern. So I bought the two sets in here and um, I started working on finishing this because it had not been finished. So this is on a 14 count Ada and the letters, I started filling in the letters that were missing. The V I've got to do. The purple sky here, the purple mountains and the blue sky on most of the cows were not done. So I filled in the purple. I still have some bits and bobs. I And I've got to do all the back stitching still, but I added the purple and I added the blue around the face here on all the cows. I added in the W, I worked on the V and I started working on just filling in some stuff. So. All of this stuff had already been stitched. I need to add for the celestial elements, the cheeks, the pink cheeks, and then all the back stitching. For cow here, it's there's a OW, and then there's a space here for udder, um, for the U. And it's really fun too to, to see or work on other people's projects. So this one had not been completed for whatever reason. And it literally, it looks like the person put the stitch down. They hadn't finished crossing the legs on the W. Like it literally stopped mid project, it hadn't crossed the legs. So I, I did that, uh, but it's fun to see the backs of different pieces and different people and how they work. So this person's back, they have, she did a, or he did a beautiful job with their back and you can kind of see my where I filled in because my back stitching my stitching on my on the back side looks different so here I'll show another example this K you can see the H is done one way and then <laughs> for the K you can see it, it looks different because that's how I stitch my method of stitching and the back sides look different so this will be fun when it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and I will wash it. And that's where you uh, just dunk it in tepid water. I will use Blue Dawn dish soap. And then I will place it on a towel. And then you roll to get the extra water out. And then let it air dry. And then after that, I'll, I'll iron it a hot dry iron, if, if the, the wrinkles don't come out, I will then use the Aileen's, not Aileen's, <laughs> the Ellen's, the best press um, starch alternative and starch this. And then I think this one will get framed. I originally thought it would be neat as a wall hanging, but I think I might frame it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm all over the place on what I wanna do, <laughs> what I think about, oh, I just, I just got my glasses. <laughs> problem with uh, wearing glasses and get them smudged and then they get stuck. So I am very excited about all the cow projects. I really am. And like I said, I have a, a design to show you. I stitched it on a tropical green Wichelt fabric that I'm very excited about. It's very bright, but I also show how it would look really lovely on a brown. So <laughs> if you're not like super into bright, I totally understand. So that is one of my works in progress. I have some more works in progress, uh, but I just wanted to answer, I'll just, I wanna answer a couple questions first for, so get them out of the way. <laughs> 
I got a question about how I how how I chose my name Artith Design. And I I've told this story once before and it was on floss tube number one, but we are already over 100 floss tube videos in and I know I have some new viewers to my channel. So here we go. I my name is Amanda May and I From like 2010, I, I, I opened up an eBay store to sell goodies. And I was part of a online like eBay identification and help group for people, you know, researching things and valuing things. And there was a member in the group who was helping people over and over again with needlework pieces and cross cross stitch pieces. And I had never cross stitched before. I had like sewn individual sequins on ballerinas tutus. Uh, you know, I've done, I'd help with costume design and stuff, but never cross stitch. And so when this person started speaking about cross stitch, it was like this foreign language, you know, she was like, oh, that's a Teresa Winsler stitched on a 32 count with, on Ada, 32 count, dated probably here, and da, 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 and using all of this verbiage that I had never heard before. And I was super duper intrigued. Fast forward a couple years, and I met this person in real life at an eBay seller group here in Maryland. And we had been, you know, online talking and everything. And I, I don't know, something clicked and I started following her cross stitch Facebook group. And she had on some videos of Nashville, like 2016, 2017. She interviewed um, Pat Carson, who she, Pat Carson is the designer behind like all the precious moments. She was really a prolific designer from uh, the, 70s 80s into the 90s um, early 2000s and now she uh, has the pat's favorite needle the most amazing needles that are made in japan and are sold now and they're amazing if you that and so that, that was the first needle i ever learned to stitch with was a pat's favorite needle well a, another year passed and the person came to another of the ebay seller groups here in maryland and we started talking all about genealogy and family history and everything. And so she had an account with ancestry.com because I guess she was a board member or something. So she pulls up the family history on my husband's side and we're looking at pictures and names. And at the time I was pregnant with my, my daughter and so she goes, oh, you know, you should really look at this, the name of your, uh, you know, your ancestor, your husband's ancestor. Her name was Ardith. You should name your baby Ardith. And I laughed at her. I said, I, the name is lovely, but no way. I'm not naming my, my daughter. If I have a girl, I'm not going to name her Ardith. I've already, we've already decided on uh, Amelia. She goes, well, you, you're going to name your baby Ardith. And she was very definitive about it. Like this is going to happen. Right? So <laughs> my daughter was born. The idea was, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to start designing cross stitch. And so I bought the max stitch program. This was way before I ever started really cross stitching, but I was like, I'm going to start designing cross stitch. And with the mentor, my, her blessing, I, I said, what do you think about naming my company? You know, my new baby artist design. And she goes, Oh my gosh, amazing. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I got her blessing. And that is where the name artist design came from. And so it's named after, you know, my family, my married into family, uh, named after one of the ancestors and it also ties me in I think you know the historical stuff into today and when my mentor had said you know you will name your baby artist it will be done you know <laughs> I feel like 
that it fulfilled that as well. I don't know. So I watched more of the online stuff on Facebook about cross stitch. I followed her weekly videos, followed her, uh, Pat Carson teaching how to cross stitch. And I picked up a needle and thread and I haven't put it down since. And I'm very grateful to <laughs> the cross stitch community. Uh, and so I launched my channel a couple years ago and started releasing patterns. And I can see as a new designer, I've already seen the growth in my designs and what I've put out and my knowledge that I've learned. And I really just appreciate all of you for being along for the ride. So that's my long story. Do you wanna see more cross stitch? <laughs> okay, oh, this is my new pattern. All bodies are good bodies. I got some beautiful comments and feedback about that. So thank you all so much. And thank you to a viewer. It is on an Ackfield frame. Uh, one of the viewers uh, told me about this frame company. So I got, it's like a mini quilt stand and the back you're, you know, you're supposed to put, put it through, but I didn't make a little loopy loop. And you can see my backside isn't perfect. I, this is, <laughs> this is the fabric from another qu quilt I made and it, it's leftover batting. I just keep, can you see a theme? So here we go. All right. Another work in progress that I have, and I am happy to announce, I officially started it. It is the Peacock and Fig Dana. She's a Canadian designer. Her Marie La Toinette bird. She came out with a set of them late uh, 2020. She sent me all the patterns for free in a uh, in exchange for a positive uh, she not a positive review, but um, to talk about her patterns and also to make sure to look at and make sure they're all the kinks were worked out before she released it. You know, like a beta tester, right? <laughs> so uh, I said yes, I would love to be a part of that. So I I purchased all of my. DMC that it's called for and I put them all this week on my own little thread drops and the colors are wonderful all DMC here and then I got my fabric ready I, I cut out roughly what I thought was the the size that I needed and then I sewed using that zigzag stitch again and my wonder clips here I zigzag stitched. I'm trying to show you. So this is the, the pattern. This is Marie La Twinette. She had other ones, but I couldn't help. Look at that bird with her wig, that white powder wig. So, <laughs> um, and I, I've got a lot of progress on it. I'm very happy. So I have half the body done here and I'm starting on like the neck part here and then there's like a jewel necklace that's gonna go right here so I I think I put in maybe nine or ten hours total on the piece and that's where I'm at and I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count linen over two linen strands using two threads of DMC. And I decided to use, I'm stitching it with a DMC uh, size 24 needle. And I've been on a size 24 needle kick recently. I also worked on another work in progress here and I'm using a petite. So that means the smaller needles. <laughs> The petite DMC size 28 tapestry needle and working on the fond hearts by Maggie Bonanami in conjunction with Blackbird Designs. This was the original print that I got, um, printing of the pattern, but it has been re-released. So if you are interested, I know you can ask your local needle workshop or online needlework store to order it for you. I will say that uh, the, the words are over one. So 
I have been just kind of slow and steady with that. I am using a vintage hoop. It's a felt grip hoop. It's, I don't think it's a, it's not a duchess hoop because it doesn't have the duchess marking, but it says felt grip. I paid 25 cents for it at the thrift store and it's got the felt around. It's been lovely. I really love this little hoop. And it is on a piece of color and cotton linen, 32 count, that I got from the Patriotic Color and Cotton 2019 Stitchy Box, Stitcher's Box. Yeah. So here we go. I have my my new needle minder here I made. It's my one of my NASA pins that I have because I've always, my whole life, I want to go to space. I was talking to somebody um, when I was younger. They had these, the promotional things to go to the NASA space camp. And they sent out, you could request the VHS tape to learn all about space camp. And I requested it. And so at one time I had that VHS tape and I watched it over and over again. <laughs> so here is my stitch. I've used Victorian Motto Sampler Shop threads. And then this right here is um, a week's color that I'm using. It's like a brown, um, number 1272. And so the over one stitching, I'm using the petite 28 count neat petite size 28 tapestry needle and I'm stitching it so there's the over one stitching and to do the over one stitching I am using a hoop and I'm almost I got so I I've got all this section done here uh so I only have two and the rest of the word hearts. I just have H-E right here. So it's hearts. And then up here is two. And then I just need to add the Smyrna crosses. And yes, yeah, Smyrna's. Well, there's some specialty. Um, I'm eyelet stitches, excuse me. So uh, use some eyelet stitches. And then I would get this finished up. I wanted to have this done for Valentine's Day this year. But that didn't happen. And that's okay. Um that's okay. <laughs> All right. What else have I been working on? Did I forget to grab it again? I did. I finished a little uh, freebie cow design and I, this is the second week in a row. I forgot to grab it to show you. So next week, I guess you're going to have to see it next week. Oh, I had a question about, I had a question about Libby. No, not um, not my dog's name or anything. <laughs> Libby as in the application for the library stuff. Oh, and I'm missing thread stuff. Okay. I got a lot of wonderful feedback and that, you know, thank yous for telling y'all about Libby. L-I-B-B-Y. And for some of you who are like, what are you talking about? Uh, I talked there's a library service that my library offers in Maryland, the local, the Maryland Library Consortium. So throughout the United States, you can check with your own library system to see if they offer Libby as an app that you can download. And I just wanted to show for anybody who was wondering. Um, so I pulled it up, I synced my, the Libby app. You need your library card. Then, I, you, I can have it on my phone and I can sync it with my iPad. I am an iOS user. I can't speak for Android devices or anything else. So the Libby app, it comes up. So here's how, what mine looks like. It comes up, it says Maryland Digital Library Consortium. And then I can go over here to my shelf. You can look all around and I've tagged things that I want to go back and look to. They have a lot of craft um, magazines, knitting, quilting, crochet. They have books. They have a lot of stuff. Um, so 
I wanted to show you that they have the World of Cross Stitching and Cross Stitcher Magazine. So you can, you know, check them out. So like last night, I really wanted to look at the the world of cross stitching because it has a highland cow pattern so it'll come up and then you can flip through the pages and look and you can read and the table of contents and then they'll actually have like the patterns in there for you to look at so there's cross stitcher and the world of cross stitch and then magazine and then there's some other stuff uh, I just wanted to show you I tagged some of my favorites and well of course when I want to show you I, I get I'm getting all flummoxed okay so you you can go up here and you can search like you can actually just type in cross stitch and see what comes up for you. Uh, when I do it, it automatically comes up. I, it goes to cross. Are you asking about cross stitcher? And then if you scroll down, it'll show you all the issues that are available for cross stitcher magazine. So you can click and here's this issue you can borrow it you can uh, read like a sample like the first 10 pages to see if it's something that you like and you can check it out for two weeks not all library systems offer Libby you can always call your library and ask or go on to their own to the website and see if it's something and you just need your library card to do that they're licensed through this, so if I open and I decide I want to stitch this unicorn pattern on cross stitcher and I print out I can use personally use that my library has paid the license fee for me to read this issue on my own device. Does that make sense? So that doesn't mean that I can copy this pattern and share it with you. No, but me, I, my library paid for that one viewing license for me. I hope that helps. I hope that you get super duper inspired and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get on Libby and look at all the patterns and all the charts because ha, I did that. I did. Okay. I showed you my work in progress. I answered a couple questions and I want to finish off this episode talking about a stitch along that I'm going to participate in with Abby Bella Stitch and several other stitchers in the month of March and it is hashtag Stitch Asia. And it's stitch on anything Asian themed by an Asian designer featuring Asian motifs, anything dealing with the continent of Asia. Now remember, Asia is not just China and Japan. Asia encompasses from Israel, uh, Russia, <laughs> Across the, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, you've got Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, you have the archipelagos of, um, of Indonesia. I mean, you've got all of that area, okay? So there's a lot of different things that you could stitch. She's been doing a great job on Instagram of giving examples of different ideas and themes that you can stitch. I decided to go on to Creative Poppy and I've decided I am going to participate by stitching from a Japanese designer uh, and Jira means like laugh, like ha ha ha, like happy and her, her charts and patterns are super duper whimsical. So I got this the boar, wild boar in Japanese flower set. So this is what I'm going to work on in the month of March and I'm really excited, but because no pattern can travel alone, I went ahead and got Lemon Cat by Barbara Anna Designs. And thank you all for your positive feedback and telling me to go ahead and use this conversion to implement on my trick or treat cat that I'm stitching on that purple lakeside linen 
that the colors are just not showing up well. So this is my stash acquisition for this week, two digital patterns that I paid for. I only had some of the called for DMC, so I did place an order hoping to get that by March so I can start this project. And I wanted to show you, this is one, uh, a, a piece that I got at a thrift store. Um, and it's, I believe this is a design that was mass produced like for tourists because I've seen this similar um, thing on Pinterest um, being shown. I'm not sure what group of artists created this, but it's um, it shows the Himalayas in the background and the ox, it's got long stitches and wool. The canvas is painted in some places. Then there's mixed media with some stitching fabrics. There's no cross stitch on this piece, but I really uh, painted face. I wanted to show the mixed media aspect of this. Something like this you could also do for Stitch Asia. And it's also rem uh, for Representation Matters. Um, so it's hashtag representation matters s a l and diversity and inclusion which this channel is all about so oh i i have a punch needle to show you i i worked a little bit more on my sloth look at how cute she's coming out so she is going to eat her hibiscus flower she's sitting amongst the flowers and i'm punching that blue in my I'm using my Morgan seven and ten inch hoop. I have my punch needle supply list linked on all my supply list idea list children's books, um, arts and culture, what I'm all into, cross stitching supplies, my affiliate links to Sulky if you want Sulky threads. All of that stuff is down in my description, and this as and I'm going to add the Moo the Merrier merch list as well. So, okay. Thank you all for spending time with me this week, listening again to my origin stories on cross stitch, uh, for your excitement about Libby and your excitement about stitching all the things. <laughs> so, uh, with that, I send you lots of love and light and remember that you matter, your stitching matters and don't let anyone ever take the joy of stitching away from you because your stitching, your time, your projects are meaningful and valuable and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And so with that, much love, take care.